So today I'm going to show you how to make a steamed sponge pudding and I'm going to do the batter in the thermal mix and I'm going to cook it in the steamer and in the thermal mix. And uh, before we start I just want to talk a little bit about the bowl. You need to make sure that your uh, steaming bowl fits into the Varoma tray, into the steaming tray. And this is the bowl I'm going to use today. It's about a 500 milliliter Pyrex dish. And uh, if you want to do some individual ones, maybe a little cup, little cups. These cups hold about 175 mil. And uh, the Varoma tray will take six. And this batter we're doing will do six little cups or one big one. And that's what I'm going to do today, the big one. Now just put that to the side. Now, for this, for the batter, we're going to need 100 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of caster sugar, 10 grams of baking powder, two eggs, 100 grams of butter, just a few drops of milk to help the batter go into a drop-like consistency, and then <clears throat> you can flavor the top of the sponge any way you like. And today I have some soft fruits, I have strawberries, about six of them, six to eight sliced. And yesterday I made up some uh, rhubarb compote, or stewed rhubarb. And I just chopped up the rhubarb in the Thermomix, and I added, I had eight rhubarb stalks, and I added about... 75 grams of caster sugar and I just let it stew down for about say eight minutes and then I just let it cool. So I'm going to use that up today. I'm going to mix the two but you can flavor it with say apple, stewed apple or pear and the soft fruits can go in as they are like strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. Okay so let's make the batter. So I'm going to put in the butterfly And I'm going to cream the butter and the sugar together. Now the butter should be at room temperature. Okay, so 100 grams of caster sugar. And to that we add 100 grams of butter. And we're going to cream them together until they're light, till it goes kind of a white colour and nice and fluffy. That's our butter and our, and our sugar creamed. So I'm going to turn it back to, uh, I'm going to pop the lid back on and I'm going to add two eggs.
the sides again just to make sure the mix is all together. Here we have, uh, we've creamed the butter and sugar. I've added the two eggs. Now I'm going to put on the scales and I'm going to add the flour, 100 grams. and 10 baking powder. Okay. Let me put the lid back on. Slowly going to bring the speed up to four. Okay. I'm just going to add. I have a few drops of milk here. Just going to add them in. Okay, this will just soften out to drop consistency the batter. Okay. Okay, so we have a batter made. And now all we need to do is we need to butter our need to butter our dish. Just take a little bit of butter. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to put our fruit in. So I'm going to start with my strawberries. Uh, I'm just kind of flatten them out because this will be the top of the pudding. Okay. And I'm going to put some of my rhubarb on top. Okay, so when you're putting the fruit in, you should think of uh, towards. So say one toward of the bowl should be uh, the fruit. The other third should be the batter and you should leave a little bit of space in the top for the batter to expand. So now we put in our batter. Okay, just even that out. Okay, lovely. Now, what we need to do is just get a piece of greaseproof paper the size of your dish, and we're going to give that some butter as well. Okay. I'm going to place that down on the top. And then 
replace some tin file on. Now we want to place the shiny side down. This will trap the heat. The dull side takes the heat in and the shiny side reflects it. So we want to put it nice and tight over the top. And just scrunch up the edges. You don't want any of the steam to get in on the edges. Okay, so we've sealed the, sealed the sponge. And now I'm going to fill the, the bowl of the thermal mix up with a litre of water. Okay. Pop the lid on. And we're going to set to Varoma. And I'm going to set this for one hour. Okay, 60 minutes. I'll get that starting. And I'm just going to put my steam pudding into the, the Varoma tray and lid on and up top. Now if you're doing the six individuals, it'll only take 40 minutes for them to cook. But because this is in a big bowl, it's going to take up to about an hour. So after an hour, 60 minutes, we're going to take it out and we're going to check it. And also remember that it takes about three to four minutes for the temperature of the water to come up. So it may take about 64 minutes to cook. Okay, so we'll come back when that's ready. Okay, so it's been on for 60 minutes. We're just going to check it. It took five minutes for the water to heat up. So I just gave it to 65. Okay, it collapsed a little bit in the center, but that's okay. Nice clean blade that shows that it's cooked. So we we'll just take it out of this. Careful, it's hot now. Also, be careful when it's cooking. 60 minutes is a long time. Maybe you need to top up the water. You don't want it to, to boil dry. Just boil the kettle and just top up the water. So I'm just going to loosen up the pastry. And I have a plate here. Now this is best served with uh, custard, the, sometimes the sponge can be a little bit dry just depending on what fruit you use.